computer. All right, so I guess y'all gonna go back and forth with the, um, like take turns with the comments and stuff. You know, I told y'all, I, I just realized because I, I don't do the power thing or whatever, but we're competing with power tonight. So we oh, may. Oh, yeah. I've never watched the show, so. Right, so we may have like some views and stuff, but you know. But anyway, all right, so let's go ahead and get, get started. Oh, let me pull up the uh the comments. Not the comments, but the, the topics for today. All right. Hi, Hello. everyone. I'm Ashley Monique, owner of Ashley's Yummy Tummy. Um, if you haven't already, go like my business page. Uh, it's on Facebook, Ashley's Yummy Tummy, uh, or Ashley's Yummy Tummy Catering. Uh, you can also order stuff off my website, ashleysyummytummy.com. You can also follow me on Instagram, Ashley's Yummy Tummy. Or Ashley Monique843, bunched up together. Also, you can follow me on YouTube, Ashley Yummy Tummy. All right, so we have my girls here. We got Courtney and we got Kiki. And so this is episode four of four of um, Successfully Single title is in the works but currently right now we're all single <laughs> but uh it's called successfully single unfortunately okay uh so the first topic um that we're going to talk about and i'm excited to talk about this <laughs> i don't know why i'm so excited i think i'm excited because like i see these people like the I see them like they they do a great job. But the first topic that we're going to talk about is do studs make better parents? Step parents. Meaning, and what I mean by that is like females that are, you know, in a lesbian relationship and uh, the woman that they're dealing with, their father, the father of her children are no longer in the picture. Uh, either by choice, by force, however. But her girlfriend has stepped up to the plate and she's taking care of the kids. So, what do you think? Do studs make better step parents? Do you, are you familiar with anybody that, like, do you know any relationships where, you know? Yes, I do, actually. Um, okay. But... I don't know. I see. This is why I didn't really care for this topic because <laughs> I don't really see it as like a. It all depends on the person. It just it depends on the person itself. So that's just like a general type of thing. Like, it's like I don't know. Like, okay. So okay. Well, let, let me give you a little bit more background. Okay, so we all have social media, right? And then we all know people in real life. So the people that I see be it real life or, or virtually or whatnot. I see these people, um, they get out of relationships with men, uh, their children, fa their father of their children. And of course we see them complain, oh, he ain't shit. Enter, like, he don't take care of his kids. Enter, um, child support, look for that child support, upload. And then next thing you know, I see them with a, a woman. You know, and I'm like, Hmm. So, from what I see and what I know, these women, these single moms are doing way better in life with their partner, their female partner. And I'm like, she was never this happy with that, with that man. He ain't never bought these kids all this stuff. These kids ain't never had no birthday party that looked like this. When I when they used to log on, they used to have bed sheets to the window. Now she would have now she got a girlfriend. Her girlfriend done upgraded her. Got the kids, they all got matching shoes, they got matching costumes. They just I'm like, I'm so happy for them. Like, so that's what made me be like, she upgraded. Like, did it take her getting with another female, be it a I don't be it a film woman or you know, or whatever. But they upgraded. Well, see, that's that's my thing. Like, she just it it doesn't have to be like necessarily a better female she got with. She just got with a better person who was willing to step up to that plate. So, because I mean, 
there's some studs who like we say men ain't shit so there's some <laughs> studs who ain't shit you so know what i mean studs that ain't shit that's what you're saying that's i'm just saying like we, you know you, we know men ain't shit so we already know that thing but there's some studs who ain't shit either so it's like is it necessarily she only upgraded because she got with the stud or she upgraded because it was just a better person in general i mean the re- i think it was a stud like I, I think that woman brought the best out of her like i think she probably was on some these men ain't shit. I'm done with them. I'm over it. She done cried on some lady's shoulder. And that one was like, you know what? You ain't got to worry about it. I'll take care of you and these kids. And I'll be damned if they don't be taking care of these kids. They, these studs love these children. They do. I've they seen, I mean, on my, if we're children. talking like specifically like on our timelines and stuff, I I, I, I know, well, I don't know them, but I, I see a few on my timeline where yeah. they, they, treat them kids like they're the same but any person who's stepping up and acting like a step parent or being actively involved in someone's uh for, when someone's kids lives and stuff like that that's what they're right. supposed to do so I, I that's that's where I'm disconnecting with this topic because I'm like is it necessarily have to be like a stud man type of thing it's just a person uh, yeah general. because uh, the reason why this topic is important and I'm saying a stud a female or a lesbian or whatever is because when the women leave out of the relationship with their child's father, which is a male, they still have their sheets to the window. These kids ain't happy. Like, she ain't happy. She's still up. They still be up, uploading or uh, updating uh, crazy Facebook statuses. Next thing you know, the, the, they mugshot be floating around on the uh, on your timeline. But when, when, when they get with these women, these women, just they just, they just make them calm them down they just and i've seen the same case with it happened with one one man just didn't want to take care of his kid didn't want to you know be involved didn't want to better him and his family and then she got with another man who was ready for that they're married flourishing got businesses you know so it's just like it's it's like it's the person i don't think it necessarily has to do with the lesbians and stuff now i will say this it seems like when the situation is where the woman gets with another woman and that happens, like there's like a an ownership type of vibe that the the stud has. Do you what know do what mean? I mean? What do you mean? Like they are more ready to throw in the other person's face or the guy who didn't step up, like oh. I'm a better man than you and I got a pussy. You know what I mean? Oh. Like <laughs> oh. So oh, it's, yeah. it's, I, I do see that like when it's like the man doing like another man done stepped up or something like that they're not really on or at least mature men should I say right they're not really on they're not really worried about what the other one who didn't want to step up thinks you know they just like you know whatever he in the past but you know you know it's so crazy because like um typically I don't know why guys do this which we need more male opinions on this this topic I don't know why like when their baby mother moves on they be like you better not have that man around my kids so I want to do they do the same thing when when women go from them to another woman do they still say that you better not have that be around my kids they say that yes 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 really yes so, so, is, so, is, so would that be considered like their manhood is intimidated or like, what, what do you think that is? Like, why did it shouldn't be if, if you were doing what you were supposed to do for your kids, it shouldn't be. But I do think that's what it is. They feel threatened. Cause I mean, some people don't agree with it, whatever, that's their opinion, but it's like, uh, what, what did Keisha was talking about one day when it's a, it's just a man pride thing. Like, okay. okay. Like an ego and everything. Yeah. Yeah. And then that's so crazy because, like you said, if they was doing what they were supposed to do, then they wouldn't have to even. You wouldn't be worried about you it. Would be, you wouldn't you'd be, be worried like about a the next family. person, huh? You'd be like a blended family. You'd be like, okay, exactly, well, exactly. If anything, I would say, uh, not necessarily. I would say, don't have that person around my kids until like I actually meet them, or until you knew that you were serious about them, and then let's meet up together. Like, let's have like a luncheon or something. So I can see, you know, to feel the vibes and the energy. And I'm like, oh, if they're cool, then okay. Because I'm not here to cause no, y'all know what episode one, I don't cause no drama. I, I, look, it's cr- Christmas time coming up. I'm buying my uh, boyfriend's baby mama. I buy her a gift. Like, I don't want no 
problems with nobody. What's it called? I want to. I want to know what Keisha thinks because she hasn't said nothing. But my sister Cordelia Reynolds. Hey, girl. Hey. Um. She said some women just understand how a woman needs to be loved, but there are men who get it too. We just gotta wait. Okay. I'll be waiting forever. It seems like. But okay. Girl, don't start. Don't 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 start that. Cause I'm about to be with you. We about to be. No, neither one of us. I'm, I'm trying to tell you, I'm getting my seven dogs now because I don't do cats. So I'm getting my seven dogs now. That's what I'm going to die along with. <laughs> seven dogs? I ain't never coming to see you. I'm just, I'm virtually there. <laughs> Girl, you no. and my mama. <laughs> Look, that's what she said. My mom don't do dogs. So Me I don't do animals, you. period. I don't know how my kids are going to have pets. Because I don't do animals, period. And then that's so crazy because my dad's side of the family is like country as hell. Like, I mean, like goats, dogs, pigs, cows, horses. And I'm just like, Ugh. you know. No. <laughs> so, you know. But yeah, Kista, how do you feel about the topic? Um, do studs or lesbians make better step parents? And do you, do you like have some type of knowledge of that? Like, have you seen that before? You know, like, does the woman step up after, you know, they leave their baby father or a guy that they was dealing with? Do they make, like, better step parents? Your, your knowledge from your, you know. Uh, well, um, let's just say I don't condone a bunch of stuff. But, okay. Uh, okay. Just to speak on the topic. Uh, sometimes it is that way, but then you got to look at it. Like we said before, like females are kind of raised to be mothers. Right. Female, you play with doll babies. You like, you have a female that's open, have an open heart, nine out of 10 faster to kids than you would a a male. Don't get me wrong. You do have those males out there, but it's like the female is faster because it's like two mothers. So sometimes that, I mean, sometimes that is the case. Sometimes it's stepfathers that make the better parents. Like, like, um, Cordelia said, it's like, it's true. It, like anybody, anybody could be a good step parent though. Yeah. That's so, that. so basically it all boils down to like, whatever, whatever that mother, who, whomever that mother decides to be, you know, in her life and in her kid's life, they just need to be decent human beings. And I guess it would be like, you know, once they get that point, her and her kids are a package deal, you know? Right. Um, when so it gets to that point when it gets to that point because we don't talk about that right off the go, back no go, go back to the previous episodes it maybe was like two episode two or three but make sure you you know go look read go back and listen to those episodes and if you don't find them on our yeah. facebook page then they're most definitely on the youtube page like i said ashley's yummy t- it's up there but um but yeah i think that's basically what what we kind of like all agree with that um whomever the mom chooses to be with after she leaves the father then um just hopefully they love her kids the same way she loved those kids right you know all right okay so we're going to go into uh topic number 